Hello students, welcome to NIRS education channel. Today, let us move to a new chapter from your first flight textbook. It is the third chapter from your first flight textbook. The title of the chapter is Two Stories About Flying. And this chapter contains two stories about flying. First story is his first flight and second story is black aeroplane. Today let us study about first flight, his first flight story. And it is written by Liam O. Flaherty. And this story it is about flying. There is a seagull and it is afraid to fly. It doesn't want to fly. It has hesitation to fly. Then how does he conquer his fear? How does he overcome of his fear? About that we are going to see in this lesson. Okay. Now let us move to the lesson. His first flight. The young seagull was alone in his, on his ledge. The young seagull he was alone on the ledge. Ledge means a wall like a stone structure beside the sea. Like this stone structure, cliff. And he is standing on the ledge. Here for the bird, the writer used the word he pronoun. He used, he personified that bird. His two brothers and his sister had already flown away the day before. He had two brothers and a sister. All of them had already flown away the day before. The previous day only they had flown. They had learned how to fly. Who? His two brothers and his sister. He had been afraid to fly with them, but he, this particular seagull, he was afraid to fly with them. Somehow, when he had taken a little run forward to the brink of the ledge and attempted to flap his wings, he became afraid. See that. From the behind. He used to come, he used to run towards the brink of the ledge. Brink means edge of the ledge. Up to there he used to come and then he was, he used to flap his wings. At that time again he used to feel afraid. So he used to come up to here and he used to stop. Yeah, uh, a little run forward to the brink. Brink means edge. Up to the edge, he used to run and attempted to flap his wings. He became afraid. And he used to attempt to flap his wings to fly from that place. He used to flap his, he attempted to flap his wings, but at that time, he became water, he became afraid to stop them. The great expanse of sea stretched down beneath and it was such a long way down, miles down. Why he is afraid means in front of him there is water, there is the great expanse of a sea. There is very big sea. It is expanded. It is wild one. It is stretched miles long. That big sea made him water afraid. He is afraid that he would fall in the uh, sea and he would die if he tried to fly. He felt certain that his wings would never support him. So he bent his head and ran back to the uh, ran back to a, the little hole under the ledge where he slept that night. 
yes he felt certain that his wings would never support him he convinced himself that his wings are not going to support him if he tried to fly he himself thought like that and he bent his head and ran back to the little hole under the ledge where he slept that night so he used to bend his head and again he used to come back to the little hole okay suppose uh, in the picture you can see here one hole was there previous night he slept in that hole only so from this place to again he used to come back to the hole it shows his hesitation he used to go forward he used to try to jump but again he used to come back to the hole little hole even when each of his brothers and his sister whose wings were far shorter than his own ran to the brink flapped their wings and flew away see here he had brothers and a sister whose wings were far shorter than his own their wings were shorter than his wings then also they ran to the brink they all ran to the brink and they flapped their wings and they flew away and they flew away from this place they flew in the sky he failed to muster up courage his brothers and sister they learned to fly but he failed to muster up courage muster mean what gather he was failed to gather his courage to take the plunge to take the plunge plunge me dive or jump he was not ready to jump he was, did not have courage to jump from the ledge which appeared to him so desperate it made him what desperate desperate means hopeless or um, being in the state of despair it made him very unhappy his father and mother had come around calling to him shrilly upbraiding him threatening to let him starve on his ledge unless he flew away but for the life of him he could not fly many times his father and mother came towards him flying okay flying they came towards him and they called him in a shrilly voice shrilly voice means the high pitched voice and they scolded him upbraiding means uh, scolding okay they scolded him and also they threatened him they gave warning that uh, they would let him to starve on the ledge unless he flew away they told him they would not provide him any food if he not try to fly like that they threatened him but for the life of him he could not move but he was afraid of his life in order to save his life he could not move he did not want to fly his thinking he is convinced himself that his wings are not suitable to fly and they never support him to fly and if he tries uh, try to fly he would die that thought was there in his mind that's why he was not ready to fly let us stop here we shall continue in the next session